say Maya Angelou, David Shaw, and Carol's. You're not going to see those drab grays and, and dull greens. You, you're going to see purples and pinks and oranges because, you know, that's where passion comes from. There's something fluid and dynamic in it, and that is really apparent in words and visual art. I think it's brilliant what they've done. They always seem to do something new, and it's always something that makes you smile or provokes thought. The texture is what just really just blows me away. My favorite piece is the glass carving with the big rose. It's a big chunk of glass and it's painted on the back and then the glass is carved, the rose is carved in the glass and then painted. I love that. is absolutely stunning. There are the words, and those are Maya Angelou's words, and so they command attention. And it's a coming together, it's a melding, and, and I think that that's also profound and, and striking and important. take responsibility for the time I take up and the space I occupy. Yeah. And this is an artist. Whether the artist is a, is a ballet dancer, the artist may be in fact a ditch digger and a ballet dancer. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Yeah. We are all inter interrelated and grateful to each other uh, according to our understanding. I'm grateful to be here because of that. I'm grateful to know that, that you love me, yeah. amazing, yeah. Yeah. And, and that I love you, amazing, yes. having enough courage to say so, taking responsibility for being here. I am uh, gay, I'm straight, I'm fat and thin, <laughs> I'm pretty and plain, I'm Asian and Native American alley -oop. I am uh, Ethiopian. I am uh, Mexican. Yo puedo hablar español también. So here we are, on this planet, owning it, according to our understanding. And I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to collaborate directly my art with the art of David and Carol. We, this people, on a small and lonely planet, traveling through casual space, past aloof stars, across the way of indifferent suns, to a destination where all signs tell us it is possible and imperative that we learn a brave and startling truth. And when we come to it, to the day of peacemaking, when we release our fingers from fists of hostility and allow the pure air to cool our palms, when we come to it, when the curtain falls on the minstrel show of hate and faces sooted with scorn are scrubbed clean, when battlefields and coliseum no longer rake our unique and particular sons and daughters up with the bruised and bloody grass to lay them in identical plots in foreign soil, when the rapacious storming of the churches, the screaming racket, and the temples have ceased, when the pennants are waving gaily, when the banners of the world tremble stoutly in the good clean breeze, when we come to it, when we let the rifles fall from our shoulders and our children can dress their dolls in flags of truce, when landmines of death have been removed, 
and our aged can walk into their evenings of peace. When religious ritual is not perfumed by the incense of burning flesh, and childhood dreams are not kicked awake by nightmares of sexual abuse, when we come to it, then we will confess that not the pyramids with their stones set in mysterious perfection, nor the gardens of Babylon hanging as eternal beauty in our collective memory, not the Grand Canyon kindled into delicious color by Western sunsets, nor the Danube flowing its blue soul into Europe, not the sacred peak of Mount Fuji stretching to the rising sun, neither Father Amazon nor Mother Mississippi, who without favor nurture all creatures in their depths and on their shores. These are not the only wonders of the world. When we come to it, we, this people, on this minuscule and kinless globe, who reach daily for the bomb, the blade, and the dagger, yet who petition in the dark for tokens of peace. We, this people, on this moat of matter, in whose mouths abide cankerous words which challenge our very existence, yet out of those same mouths come songs of such exquisite sweetness that the heart falters in its labor and the body is quieted into all. We, this people, own this small and drifting planet whose hands can strike with such abandon that in a twinkling, life is sapped from the living. Yet those same hands can touch with such healing, irresistible tenderness that the haughty neck is happy to bow and the proud back is glad to bend. Out of such chaos, of such contradiction, we learn we are neither devils nor divines. When we come to it, we, this people on this wayward floating body, created on this earth, of this earth, have the power to fashion for this earth a climate where every man and every woman can live freely without sanctimonious piety, without crippling fear. When we come to it, we must confess that we are the possible, we are the miraculous, we are the true wonder of this world. That is when, and only, as it is said in the ancient Negro spiritual, when it looked like the sun wasn't going to shine anymore, when each one of us is willing to say, I am glad to be a rainbow in somebody's cloud. My name is Maya Angelou.